Hey guys, welcome back to vlog number 18. This one is going to be on temperature. So we do have a previous video on the channel. It's called the perfect temperature or the perfect temperature for crickets. Vlog number nine. Um, that is incorrect. We found a better way to do it. So let's get into the video. Okay, so first things first, if you haven't gone and watched vlog number nine where we talk about the temperature in the container, you don't have to worry about it. If you don't want to, we're gonna cover majority of things in this video. So first things first is we have a split system aircon up there and that is perfect for us because we have 45 degree days here in the Riverland but then we can also have minus four mornings. So um, doesn't matter how cold it gets, doesn't matter how hot it gets, it will keep the container consistent and sitting at that 30 degrees. Now, 30 degrees, that is also the other thing that we have changed is in the previous video we had the container running at 26 degrees and now we've got it running at about 30. And the reason why we've increased it is because we've noticed that the crickets are more active and they're more willing to breathe and more, they eat more, they grow faster, it's just overall better the hotter the container is. Now, the other reason is we installed solar panels. So the power cost is a bit of an issue when you do farm crickets because you have to have the container hot all the time. And now the lights aren't an issue because they're only on when we're working in here. But that's the other reason why we're able to have it at 30 degrees now is because we've got solar panels and it's just cheaper for us now to have it running and it's gonna be more cost effective in the long run when we have more crickets, breeding more, faster. Yeah, it's just better all around. So, that's the other thing. Now, one thing that we were noticing in the container was, especially down this end, where the split system aircon isn't, uh, the crickets were growing a lot slower. So, we were having crickets grow about three weeks quicker, quicker, three weeks quicker, sorry about that guys, three weeks quicker down here, because of the temperature was a lot hotter. So. We did a temperature check and it was actually about two or three degrees hotter down this end than it was down there. So now, to combat that, we actually installed these fans. And all this is doing is actually blowing the hot air down, then it continues pushing it down. And then when it gets down to here, we also have a fan down the bottom here that will cycle the fan and the heat all the way back down to the other end. Um, this has been really beneficial for us. We don't have these fans running all the time. They're only running during the day. Um, but we're just finding that the temperature is a lot more consistent throughout the container. And that is actually allowing us to get a lot more stable growth rate across all the bins. Now, the other thing is, we have noticed that the crickets do grow quicker up the top than they do down the bottom. And that's just purely because heat rises to the top, it's hotter at the top and it's cooler down the bottom. And to do that, that's why we've actually installed the fans as well. Hopefully it runs a little bit smoother and better. But at the end of the day, um, it's kind of tough because the higher you go, the harder it is to actually get that hot air back down to the bottom. If we were to design another cricket container, we'd probably actually move that split system aircon down to the bottom and then push it along and that would be the best way to do it. But that's the way it goes. So we'll maybe do it in the next container. And the very, very last thing that we've actually done is we've just tried to keep as little water in the container as possible. So we actually used to have water containers down the bottom here. We've then taken them out. Um, we used to really care about the humidity of the container. We've just completely got rid of it. There's not a lot of humidity left in this container. Actually, there's none. There used to be water on the walls and now there's nothing, it's dry. There used to be heaps of water on the floor. But we're really concerned about mold and the potential mold and the issue that it could play in the future. So we don't worry about it anymore. It hasn't actually affected the crickets whatsoever in terms of humidity. So we've just completely got rid of it. And it's been completely fine. So we're really, really happy with our current setup and the temperature and how we go about doing it now. All right, so that is everything um, in terms of temperature in the container and I really encourage you guys if you do have any questions and if you're having any problems with your current cricket farm setup that send through a message, um, maybe I can help, I'll answer any questions and if you just have any other questions in general about cricket farming, let me know. Um, you can either reach out to me by email or by a DM on Instagram or even just a comment on YouTube. Find a way, I'm always going to answer every single question that you have. 
And yeah, so that's everything. And feel free to flick through the rest of the channel. Um, there's a couple of Q and A's on there that are really beneficial for a lot of people I'm finding. And yeah, so I'll leave you guys there. And thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the next video. I'm gonna leave you with some footage of crickets chewing down a bunch of food now. So enjoy, we'll see you later.